Welcome to Exploring Atlanta, the ultimate guide to Atlanta's rich history, diverse culture, and must-see attractions. In today's episode, we explore the Margaret Mitchell House and Museum, located in Midtown Atlanta at 979 Crescent Avenue Northeast. Margaret Mitchell, the Pulitzer Prize-winning author of the highly acclaimed novel-turned-film Gone with the Wind, was a resident of Atlanta. Before we dive into the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as it helps us bring you more videos like this. Margaret Mitchell was a novelist and journalist. Gone with the Wind is the only novel she wrote that was published during her lifetime. First published in 1936, the novel is set in Clayton County and Atlanta, Georgia. It tells the story of a wealthy plantation owner's daughter who must claw her way out of poverty by any means necessary during the American Civil War and Reconstruction era. The book was an instant hit with American readers and the top fiction bestseller of 1936 and 1937. In 1939, the novel was adapted into a film by the same name and is considered to be one of the greatest movies of all time. It would go on to win eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture during the 12th Annual Academy Awards Ceremony. Margaret Mitchell passed away at the age of 48 after being struck by a speeding drunk driver as she crossed Peachtree Street and 13th Street with her husband, John Marsh while on her way to see the movie A Canterbury Tale on an August evening in 1949. After her death, a collection of her childhood writings and a short novel titled Lost Laysen were published, as well as a collection of newspaper articles she had written for the Atlanta Journal. The Margaret Mitchell House and Museum was built as a single-family residence in 1899. It was remodeled in 1919 and converted into a 10-unit apartment building. It was known as Crescent Apartments in the early 20th century. Miss Mitchell and her husband lived in apartment number one on the ground floor from 1925 to 1932. While living there, she wrote the bulk of her Gone with the Wind novel. She characterized their apartment as the dump, as property maintenance declined due to unstable owners and the stock market crash of 1929. The building changed owners, faced structural challenges and deterioration over the years, including two fires. The last fire in May of 1996 was caused by an arson attempt. This fire occurred at a point where the restoration was almost complete. All but Margaret Mitchell's apartment was damaged or destroyed. The building would be preserved. Margaret Mitchell House and Museum opened in 1997. The house is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and designated as a historic building by the city of Atlanta. It houses permanent exhibits that focus on various topics surrounding the building's history. The Margaret Mitchell House and Museum is an attraction you'll want to place at the top of your must-see sites to visit in Atlanta. Join us on this virtual tour as we explore this one-of-a-kind historical site. We hope you find the presentation insightful and enjoyable in so much as we enjoy presenting it to you. May I remind you to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Click the all notifications bell so that you receive an alert each time we upload a new video. Now, let's go exploring.